Yo, what's up with y'all, man? I'm back with another video, HBK all day, let's get it, man. So, in this video, I want to talk about what I experienced um, on my solo trip to Hawaii. Okay, so this is going to be like a little story video. So, um, yeah, man, let's get right into it. So, I took a solo trip to Hawaii a couple days ago, and it was crazy, bro. Like, I was there for about two nights all right and i just want to talk about like some of the things that i experienced while i was out there so you know if you've seen one of my previous videos i was talking about how you shouldn't be afraid to do things by yourself like you shouldn't wait on other people to live your life and that's exactly what i did man okay because i was supposed to go to hawaii i wanted to go to uh, go to hawaii but um there was like this person that supposedly we were gonna go next year right um but you know people never keep their promises so i was like why wait until next year what i could do right now you know so i decided to go like this year and uh i basically planned it out like for two weeks i just locked in you know i didn't know nothing about where to stay or things to do i mean one of the things that i knew i was gonna do for sure was skydive Okay, skydiving was on my top list of things to do. But for basically two weeks, I just locked in. You know, I was just looking up information. I was literally taking notes on my notepad. Just very, you know, calculating where I was going to stay and just everything like that. You know, just preparing things that I was going to take, all that stuff, man. And it's crazy, bro, because when you're on this journey, it's like whatever you put your mind to, um you could accomplish it. You will manifest things three times as fast, bro. Like when you're on this journey, bro, you have so much more mental power. You have so much more, uh, you know, ability to do things, you know, put things into action because everything starts off as a thought, right? So it was just on my mind heavy, you know, like, <laughs> bro, it wasn't going to go away until I actually did it, right? So, you know, I was just planning it out and yeah, this is my this was like my first time traveling like by myself like on plane you know so i feel like the last time i've been on a plane a commercial plane was probably like 15 years ago so you know this is going to be my first time in a long time traveling by myself and traveling to hawaii for the first time so it was just a lot but at the same time i felt confident in doing it right like i just like I'm telling you guys, like you have the motivation, you have the mental power to do it. So, yeah, man, for like two weeks, I was just doing that, right? I was just playing it out. I was just like locked in, right? And I decided the dates and then, uh, yeah, man, I just pulled the trigger and then I, I bought the tickets. And then I bought like all the other stuff, like the room and, you know, the tickets for the skydiving and other things that I will mention in the video. So, basically, you know, I left like at 5 in the morning or like 4.30 in the morning. I drove to the airport. I parked my car at this uh, parking spot. I took a shuttle to the airport. Um, and, yeah, man, I just navigated my way there. Like, I just, you know, I just figured it out. I, I got my boarding pass. And it was, it was cool, you know. Like, I didn't feel nervous or you know anything like that you know i just like everything was just going pretty smooth right and so you know i was just you know having fun you know just traveling just by myself just vibing right and it was crazy bro because uh i don't know it just felt like a movie guys like i just felt unreal you know when i was at the airport it just i was like bro i'm really like doing this right now you know and it's cool man and um so i ended up you know catching my flight i almost i almost missed it because uh i don't know i just kind of got like distracted or i just kind of i guess the the time that it leaves isn't actually the time that it says on there like you have to arrive like maybe like 15 minutes 15 minutes before you know the flight takes off but i made it i still had like five minutes left but you know i hopped on the plane i got the window seat right i chose my seat and I was next to these uh, this old couple, right? It was this old couple. And instantly, they were just, like, so cool. You know, they were just basically, like, 
my friends for the for the for the ride over there because the flight was like five hours maybe like almost six hours long right and i was flying out of california so yeah man i was just talking to them i was just chopping it up with just some strangers and it was cool man you know i was just talking to these these old folks and at the same time just getting in the scenery of the view like bro it was crazy man like you're just flying over the ocean for like such a long time and all you see is just clouds and it just looks unreal okay so after the flight right after the flight i got off the plane and then the next step was going to rent a car all right i already you know booked that as well so I just needed to find the place and I got a little lost, right? When I got off the plane, I was just trying to see where this place was because it wasn't really accurate on the map. So I was just walking around for a little bit and uh, eventually I asked somebody, I was like, well, you know where this is at? And then they kind of led me to it. So I found the place. So I got the car, right? I got the car and then from there, I was gonna use the GPS on the, on the car. But I was having trouble with that, like something, I don't know, like I, w I was going to use the GPS from the car, but for some reason, like it wasn't really like working or you had to do something to use it. But I was like, basically, long story short, I uh, ended up using my own GPS, right? Because I was trying to leave at that point, you know, I was trying to go to my hotel and all those things, right? So what ended up happening, this was probably like the most nerve wracking part of the trip is um, I headed out, right? And I didn't have a phone mount or anything. So it was just, you know, I just had the car, I had the rental car, and I had my phone with the GPS. And then from there, I just headed off like into the street, bro. Like I just drove off into the street and I was just like trying to navigate my way to the hotel just by listening to, you know, the GPS because I couldn't really look at the screen because um, I didn't even have a phone mount or anything, right? So. I ended up taking like some wrong turns and all these things, man. I had to like pull over and I was just like, bro, like, you know, that was like the probably the most nerve wracking part of the trip is just, you know, trying to navigate my way in the street, you know, being in a totally different place. And um, I mean, you know, I ended up just making it work, right? Like I just took a freeway and it was, it was a pretty easy path from there, right? I was just very careful and like to not make like a wrong turn or a wrong exit. But eventually I found my way and I was staying in Waikiki, okay? Um, I found the parking lot and then the first thing that I did was just park the car there and I got a burger, right? <laughs> I just got a burger, just like random, just a random burger. And I headed up to my hotel and it was nice, you know? It was just like, a, it had like a balcony, just had a view of the beach and the uh, diamond head which is like this crater that you could actually hike, which unfortunately I didn't get to hike it because I ran out of time. But basically, you know, I got to my hotel, I was eating my burger. And one of the first things that I noticed is that all the birds out there are like extremely comfortable like being around you. You know, they get so close to you. Like they're not like, like birds where I'm from, where they're just very like, they don't even get close to you. Um, these birds will be like literally inches away from you, right? And all of them were like that, okay? So the first thing that I did when I got to my hotel was, you know, eat a little bit. And then uh, I just went for a walk, right? I just literally just went for a walk. And it's so trippy out there, guys. Like the trees just look so majestic, you know? The trees just look so like psychedelic almost, you know? It just looks all like... Like there's just palm trees and there's these like weird looking just different types of trees you know and and these different like types of birds and things like that man and like i was just vibing right i was just walking through this just so much greenery right there's just so much grass so much green trees right next to the ocean and bro it was it was beautiful right and i just put a towel down like i just put like a, a blanket down and i just like i was just meditating Right, I just meditated. I was listening to music, I had my uh, earphones with me, right? Um, so yeah, I was just vibing, right? Like I was just walking around. I didn't really do much the first day because, you know, I was just kind of tired. But, you know, I was just, you know, just in nature, right? Just in nature. 
um, just saw the sunset at the beach, headed back to my hotel at night. Or I got like a fruit bowl or like whatever you want to call it, like a as acai bowl, something like that. Uh, headed back to my hotel and just basically, you know, just chilled out for the rest of the night, you know, just chilled out. And, you know, it's funny. This is a funny part. Basically, you know, they had a TV there, right? Like all hotels do. And I turned it on and I wanted to see what was on, like for movies. So I clicked on movies and guys, tell me why when I clicked on the movies, it was nothing but corn, <laughs> Right, it was nothing but like adult videos, and I'm just like, bro, what the heck? Like, I was expecting like movies, like actual movies, you know, you know, just movies, but not those type of movies. So I was like, bro, what the heck? And I just, I ended up turning the TV off, bro. I was like already tired at that point. I was just like, you know, I just wanted to see what was what movies were on, but it was just corn, bro. It was that that pornography, right? So I was like, what the heck? And I was just thinking, like, bro, can you imagine, you know, being on vacation or being in Hawaii and you're over here in this room just watching porn, <laughs> bro, while you're literally in Hawaii, just all the other stuff that you could do and you're just there doing that. So I ended up just knocking out, you know, I just went to sleep. The next day I woke up like at five in the morning or so. <sighs> and uh, so the first thing that I was going to do was go skydiving. So... Yeah, man, I just got like some breakfast a little bit um, and just headed out, you know, it was like an hour drive and I ended up making it work, right? So with my phone, with the GPS, I ended up putting, I was able to put my phone like against the window and against the dashboard. So it was like holding up like perfectly. So I didn't have to worry about like listening to the GPS or like looking down. So it was like right there. So it was perfect. And the drive over there was so nice too, you know, it was just, it was cool, you know, it was just a lot of greenery, a lot of just, it's crazy, bro, it was like natural stimulation out there, you know, just seeing like all the trees and like all the, all the colors just pop out at you, you know, and so I made my way to the skydiving place, um, you know, I skydived in Hawaii, right, like that's something that I talked about a couple months ago on my video, I only mentioned it once, but I, I did it, guys, um, I, I, I skydived in Hawaii and it was amazing. You know, the, the water just looked so clear. It looked j just different shades of blue. I was flying over these clouds and then I just like skydived. And, you know, I'll upload like a vlog later, but this is just me basically just talking about like what I experienced. But yeah, I went skydiving and then afterwards I was just kind of hanging around, right? Just kind of chilling, just kind of talking to people. Um, I was talking to this one chick too. She was there, she was with her boyfriend, but her boyfriend didn't end up like skydiving. But it's funny because I later, you know, I was just showing her videos on like my Instagram and stuff like that. And then she ended up like adding me like later, like later in the day, or I found out later that she added me, which I thought was funny because she was, she was feeling me, right? But she had like a boyfriend right there. And it's just kind of awkward, bro. Like when you're, when someone's girl is like chopping it up with you, and they have like a whole ass dude like next to it. it's just like I don't know bro it's kind of weird you know what I'm saying like but anyways um, so I went skydiving after that I um, the next thing that I did was I took a three-hour tour uh, it was an electric mountain bike tour at Kuloa Ranch and um, it's like these beautiful Bro, I can't even describe it, man. It's like these, it's so much, it's like these green mountains, okay? It's like these green mountains. It's literally like some of the locations in that place. It was in the movie King Kong, Skull Island. All right, I literally went to that place. Um, so it was like a tour, right? It was just like a bunch of electric mountain bikes. And you're literally riding these bikes through like the most amazing trails out there. Like it's just... It's so crazy. Like I've never been on trails like that scenic before, like in my life, right? And it was such a vibe, you know, you would just see like cows just like everywhere and just uh, just all these like amazing things, right? And um, I seen like a helicopter, like from one of the King Kong scenes, that helicopter that crashed, I passed by there. And then I also passed by, uh, 
you know, that one scene where in the King Kong movie where they're like walking through all these skeletons, like the skulls, and they're like in that fog. I went there towards the end. But you know, the whole like the whole ride was just amazing. You know, it was just really cool. It was, it was like a vibe, right? And especially having like the electric assistance on there, like you you weren't even tired, man. Right? You were like pedaling, but at the same time, it was just like it was going pretty quick too. So I did that. Um, and actually, before I headed out, I was kind of hungry, so like I, I got like some food there before I did that tour. And on my way back. What else? I think I ended up going back to my hotel right after that trip. After I went skydiving and I went, took that electric mountain bike tour, I went back to my hotel. And from there, I just basically, you know, left all my stuff in the hotel, like my phone and my things like that. And I just went swimming. I went night swimming. Um, and this one section in Waikiki where it's basically, they, they kind of put like a wall so it's so it's like you're it's basically like a big pool pretty much like it's not the actual ocean but you know you feel more comfortable actually swimming in there because you're not getting tossed around like by the waves at night or things like that man and to be honest guys like i'm more afraid of the water than i am of the sky you know like the ocean bro is just like you never know what's underneath you bro and especially like being in the middle of an island like you were literally like in, you know, sharks could just pop out of nowhere, right? If they really wanted to. Um, so I'm not really that like confident going deep into the water. So, but I ended up swimming though, like in this little other area where it has like a wall. And yeah, it was like during nighttime and like the moon was out. And I ended up seeing like this show. It was like a light show. It was basically like drones. I think there were drones. They were making like imagery right with lights which i thought was pretty cool you know um yeah so i swam for a little bit from there uh, i went back to my hotel and yeah i just went to sleep afterwards and the next day i woke up and i was so tired guys like i was so tired but i was like trying to push through it um unfortunately like i didn't do a lot of things that i wanted to do like i wanted to go hike diamond head or I wanted to go to like different beaches or just different places, right? But I was just like, like I was only there for two nights and you know, I only did what I could, right? But yeah, I ended up just not hiking. Um, I had to go return the car at like 10.30. I had the flight like at one. So I always try to arrive earlier than expected when you're at the airport. So, you know, my last day there, I basically just went to the beach, you know, I just went to the beach, um, just swam a little bit and just headed back, you know, I just headed back and went to go return the car and, you know, just went back to the airport and yeah, it was just pretty much just took a flight back and then on the way back, it was just, it was cool too because like the sun was going down, you know. So I, I saw the sunset from the plane, um, which was pretty cool. Um, from there, after, you know, after I landed, what else did I do after that? Uh, yeah, basically I just headed back and then there was like, outside of the airport, there was these taxi people, right? And I asked them, I was like, oh, how much for a, it was literally a five minute drive, right? And the person wanted $25. For a, for a five minute drive and I was just like I ended up walking you know I walked for like 30 minutes but because I wanted to right like I was just like I didn't even care at this point like I wanted to walk um, I was on the plane for like five hours so I didn't even mind walking you know it was probably like maybe like 11 at night or 10 at night I just started walking back to this part where I actually parked my car um, headed back and then just you know went home and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much it you know just just wanted to talk about that it's, uh you know like i said I'll, I'll make a vlog or something like i'll just put like uh, some of the clips together of like what i experienced and things like that but in this video i just want to talk about like 
just what I've experienced, like, verbally and things like that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it was cool, man. Like I said, it was, like, a cool experience. It doesn't even feel real. Like, it doesn't even feel like I went. Okay, but I did. And, yeah, man, it's just so crazy, bro. You know, it's just so crazy. Like, you shouldn't wait. Um, you shouldn't be waiting for too long to do things, man. Like I said, don't be afraid to do things. Like I said, this is my first time traveling like by myself like on a plane you know it was crazy bro but it was like an adventure at the same time you know i was just out and about you know being independent not relying on like anybody else right uh that, that's what it's about man you know it's just you okay it's just you and whatever you want to do which is which is cool man but that's pretty much it that's all i did um it went by quick, guys. Like I said, it went by quick. I feel like if you go to Hawaii, you got to stay there for like a week or something, man. But it's cool. It's like a vibe out there. I remember something else that I remember is uh, I saw like people out there just riding like mopeds. You know, you could ride, you could rent mopeds out there. And I don't think you even need a motorcycle license. There's people out there just literally just riding the moped like all casual, you know, just with sandals, no helmet. You know, just like, like nothing. And, yeah, I'll probably do that next time, maybe. But, you know, this time, you know, I rented a car. Uh, went skydiving, took a three-hour mountain bike tour through Kuloa Ranch. And just took in the sights and all that stuff. So, it was a cool experience, man. Definitely recommend doing those things, man. If you ever go to Hawaii, you know, skydiving and taking the e-bike tour the three hour one because they had different options too like you could horseback ride or you could ride like an atv out there or take like a bus but all those like they're not as good as the electric mountain bike one like i'm telling you guys like the electric mountain bike is so much better because you're not on a bus you're not like bro you feel like you experience the scenery a lot more you know because the electric mountain bikes are quiet you know they're more independent you don't have to be just sitting in one spot you could actually just enjoy the ride and it's so much better than than the other options in my opinion it's so much more worth it to just ride a bike uh through these amazing trails right it's so cool but that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much my experience with hawaii um it was cool man it was it was cool bro like <laughs> kind of kind of speechless but you know it's just because like i said it didn't even feel real like it just happened like so quick but only the memories remained and that's what's important guys like you gotta you gotta live your life man you gotta not be so stuck in life you know you just gotta do things once in a while you know um you know because last year i actually went to vegas i did a solo trip to vegas and that was a blast as well well, this year I took a solo trip to Hawaii and it was just a trip, like literally and figuratively, you know, it was just a trip. Um, I enjoyed a lot of it, you know, um, I planned it out very well. So, yeah, man, that's all I wanted to talk about. It's just my little trip to Hawaii by myself. It was a blast. <laughs> it was really, it was really fun. So I'm going to upload a vlog couple of videos of what I saw out there and just to get you guys more of a, a visual like whatever you want to call it like what I saw out there you know or what I experienced but that's pretty much it um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one peace